Yo, Wraith. Wraith. I am doing one more. Is this you? <laughs> we're doing another ELO hell, but we're redoing an ELO hell. In this ELO hell, this is the closest and the most arguments we made for players so far that they were in ELO hell. And he's kind of proven he, he might have been. At the time, I think he was either Diamond 5 like 1900 MMR, 1800 MMR, or maybe he was plat one at like that MMR. He's currently gained a lot of MMR. In that game though, he played Agni and he had a solid game. He had like 11 kills, three deaths, very high damage. Like he was second or third highest damage. I think he's third highest damage on this team, but he had a team that was stomping. From my point of view, he played around them. There was a ton of room for him to do a lot more. And he was playing Agni mechanically very, very strange where he wasn't comboing right. And it was awkward. So I said, you know, it can be made, but to me, probably not quite ELO health. Now, name. So we got Savalis, a blue team. He's a mid laner in the Agni game, obviously. He's currently 2160 MMR. He's gained some MMR. He's Diamond 3. He's gained some race. He thinks he's Masters. This whole lobby is Masters. In the last game, Cyclone Spin played support on his team. Ever thought about doing a this game, I put a Cyclone Spin on the other team. I think he's going to play support on the other team, too. Have... And then on his team, he has Scream. There's 2,900 MMR support mains. He's got two supports. Blasphemous ADC main. Uh, I think he's actually friends with him, so they might be in comms for all I know. Young Ape, 2,500 MMR. Catalyst, 2,500 MMR. Polly is 2,500 MMR. Blue is 2,500 MMR. J-Ray was 26. I think Killer was 25. I actually think Blasphemous might have been the lowest MMR, but I believe he's one of the only ADC mains in this lobby, and he was higher MMR. He's just lost some MMR. Teams are as even as I think I can make them. I think this match... Sav will be in a like an actual in a good position to show off his ability and whether he really is better than all these diamond players he's playing with and should be up there in these masters games remember he's only playing up two to 400 mmr average um with the outliers are the two 2900 mmrs one on his team one on the enemy team so it's not that dramatic so i expect him to compete and be good not carry he doesn't need to stomp the game but I expect him to do his thing and have a solid match. We'll be riding along with Sav this game, the Agni. We're gonna see what he's got. This might be it. I think this might be it. This will. This might be our first official person. I think this is gonna be it. Unless he just falls apart and then I'll be Surprised and a little bit. All right, so let's jump in with him. So, Team Gomps, thank you for the subs, by the way. I love you guys. Odin versus Herc Solo Lane. Thor versus Naja Jungle. Agni versus Baba Yaga mid. Sobek versus Nox supports. And Hachi versus Old ADC. Thank you for the 47, OG. Be more, thank you for the 30. Yes, yes, you troll. Thank you for the sub. Six, six, S I X, thank you for the sub. Royal, thank you for the sub. What's my MMR on my main account? 3K. I have two other accounts though at 2700 and then I have one account I haven't done much on yet that's at 1700. That's why I actually hope we find somebody who's in Elo Hell lower so I can queue with them and uh, get them to that that rank that they should be. I had a professional player on my team last night who plays support have one ward in 25 minutes while he typed and cried the whole game uh, about how bad everyone on his team was while the enemy team had five times his wards. Or sorry not five the, the mid enemy mid had five times his wards. The enemy support had like 10x his wards. People that don't ward in masteries. They think they're too good for wards. So once again, the last time we watched him, I said, he thinks he's masters. I'm going to nitpick. I'm, a masters player needs to be playing near perfect. Not literally perfect. You can miss an ability here or there, but you shouldn't be out of position a lot. You shouldn't be getting killed on ganks a lot. You shouldn't be using your actives wrong a lot. You shouldn't be missing abilities much. Uh, you should like... You have to realize that this is not gold. I, I, I have to nitpick because that's the difference between these levels. Oh my gosh, he is so low. I don't think this is a fully on him. It was weird that he didn't dash out instantly uh, when Naja went on him, but they have a really aggressive combo right here. And they're playing it. That red team is playing this mid lane perfectly. They haven't dove, they haven't taken tower shots. They really didn't take any return damage this whole time. I ignored the gifted. Oh, cryptic! Thank you for the five gifted. No, I'm just I get focused and I'm talking and I don't want to forget. Because if I thank you, then I forget and then it's bad. I believe he's mouse and keyboard. 
Oh, I, I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. Oh, this is good. All right, not that good. Cyclone got first blooded by Blasphemous off of the gank. His team ganked and they died. Did they get beads on the mid laner there on Baba? No, Baba Yaga didn't even beads there. What? Does kind of look controller, but I'll check after this game. Oh, he is controller. Oh, that's right. I was complaining about him moving stuff in slow mo. I thought they said he wasn't on controller. I remember I was like, this is slow mo. This is controller. But then I could have sworn one like somebody Blasphemous or somebody told me it wasn't, but I could just be wrong. I could be completely wrong. So this is a 2180 MMR diamond three player. And they were there. He's in a master's lobby with uh, there's a pro player on the enemy. On the other team too. Young Abe with a solo kill and a Herc. All right. It's funny because a lot of the people that do Elo Hell, like Sov, they, you know, not saying him, but a lot of people say they're nervous. I think Cyclone's ADC is more nervous than Sov is. Because he's playing ADC. Cyclone's a professional ADC, but Cyclone's playing support and wanted to play support. Akuna, I probably should have, bro. I didn't think about it. He's two levels down already? What? With no kills? What the heck? J Ray is 2600 MMR right now. Uh, Masters. How does he have. He doesn't have two level right now, but he was a level and a half up. He's definitely a level and a half up. He didn't get those mids. Okay, he's not going to get as much of a lead. Is he going to go? See, I like this. That's a huge stun. I would have liked to see them commit, but Thor couldn't go in, so he didn't. I, I actually really, that's what I want to see from him this game, because the last game, he never did anything like that the whole match. Oh, he's going to get picked. Oh, scream with the play. Okay. Good beads from Sov. Smart, smart beads. The beads you would expect, but that was, scream being there was perfect. I do. I'm really happy to see him being more aggro and Agni this time and not just watching the game get played. He also bomb comboed correctly. When we watched him last time, he never, the whole game, never bomb stunned like that. The whole game. I don't mean exaggerating. Literally, zero, the entire match, he did not bomb stun once. Um, he was twoing and then stunning off of it and then trying to throw a bomb and the two wasn't landing. He was max range two wanting, so the two wouldn't hit, the stun would hit, and then he would bomb off of it. It was doing no damage. Um, and apparently he didn't see that as a problem, but then he also told us somebody that it was so he wouldn't miss abilities on stream. So it was a problem and now he very clearly he learned from that and I'm happy. I'm so much happier seeing him play mechanically. It's okay to miss a bomb combo or whatever every once in a while because you're not going to land every bomb combo. People are going to move. I want to see him rotate though. The last game, he never left the mid lane the whole match either. Dude, this is a thousand percent better than last time so far. Like, he no, he's not even done anything yet. Oh, him going back in is very strange. I don't know if he dies though. Yeah, his dash back up. J Wright's dead. His team's up 4 1, but they're only up 300 gold. And he's got a. Oh, is he a level lead now? No, no, they're the same level. Yeah, he's 100% improved. Like 1 million percent. His Agni looks so much better. And nothing's even happening yet. Like he hasn't actually made a play. It just looks cleaner and better. And the, the combos and the mechanics are the correct combos and mechanics. 
he's probably just a lot more comfortable and hopefully he learned that he was comboing wrong that's not how you play agni he's been practicing either practicing or just shifting up the way he was thinking about it what is happening is he waiting for an item must have been waiting for an item no uh, waiting for a tier one item just left base with no wards it's a little questionable seven minutes in if you're telling me you're in elo hell you better be warding in your regular games to win more oh he's two wards down already okay not complaining he's got two good wards if those are his wards i don't we have to check are these his wards why did that just put me over here oh that's not his word there you go okay oh can he help him he doesn't have any abilities up he's in a bomb combo that was nice he got he, that was nice he killed jay right how i think he lives here i think he's fine i actually think he's fine he can turn this you can turn this he free he dude he could have just stunned comboed and turned that whatever it doesn't matter he played that great he got a kill in jay right what killed jay right was that his, uh, his passive dot killed him that was clean he had a good beads too to just and then he instantly reacted while mid bombing that was nice it was the passive burn yeah that's crazy it did a lot more damage than i would have expected because i don't think jared randomly ran into the three that would have been stupid wait did he stand in his dash did he stand in his three or did it was it passive There, you know what? I gotta know. I have to know. Oh, wait. Do they need a pick? Oh, his team is stomping right now. Goodness gracious. All right, hold on. I want to see what happened. Oh, yeah, it was passive. That's crazy. It was the passive. That was a good setup, too. See, that was a good use of his 2 1 to get instantly instant damage off but his two is not damaging there so that combo is only good if you want to set up for your teammates i think he was trying to set up for a pluck a stomach pluck all right that thor is popping off now too ain't the one what is going on in this match Oh, it wasn't dash that killed them. It's Agni passive. He thinks he's masters. He's already done an elo hell before uh, playing Agni and he's now he's diamond three. I think he was diamond five or plat one or something before, uh, but he looks so much better. Oh my gosh. If he, is that going to get him? Oh, he lived. Oh, the Thor is there to save. <laughs> oh, that's that's crazy. That's actually crazy. I don't think he could have played that much different other than not being there in the first place. Blue team is not, it's nine to two. Blue team's only up a thousand gold. And I want to point this out again. I have to, because we're knit, we're going in hard on him. He thinks he's masters. He thinks he's 2,600 MR, 2,500 MR, whatever. He still hasn't left the mid lane. We're 10 minutes into this game. He has not rotated out of the mid lane to another lane or even to like a side lane fight one time in 10 minutes. Now, there has been a lot of fights in mid, but that's also because he's sitting in mid, only fighting in mid. Like, he's a factor in the, the fact that there's a lot of fighting in mid. He's, his mechanics and his combos are 1,000% better. They are definitely diamond or master's level. He, he's mechanically playing master's level so far, 10 minutes in this game. 100%. This elo L is not a steep elo hell. Uh, he's playing... Most of these people are 24 to 2600 MMR, which is... 400 of them are higher at max 250 at lowest his teammates 900 of them are cyclone is a pro catalyst that thor is a big dude he's huge probably having a rough game here oh he's taking a lot get that out what build was he going seems like he's good cooldown a lot of cooldown yeah he does okay he's at 20 percent cooldown already his dash is on a really short cooldown Taking advantage of it, which is good. 
He's getting focused. No, he's not rotating out of mid. It's you again, Jack. Everything you say is wrong, bro. Everything you say so far for three ELO hells in a row is just so wrong. It's insane. If I look up your in-game name, there's no way you're playing above a silver level as a player. He hasn't left the mid lane yet. He's just standing here. He runs right back to mid and goes for another kill in the mid laner. He literally has not left this lane yet. So, of course, people are going to go on him. Oh. I don't hate that aggression, but I think he's dead. I think second one just kills him. Oh. 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 All right, he did a good job living. Good jukes. But we are 12 minutes in. Oh, that Thor's about to dunk on Spike Lunt. Did he just, did Cyclone just sidestep the Thor? Oh my gosh, I think they're getting baited into the tower. I think Cyclone's baiting them. And his team is fighting in mid again while he's not there, which is stupid for his team. Yep, his team got baited by Cyclone super hard. Oh, baby, he missed the stun. Or did, did Naja beat? No, Naja doesn't have beats. He missed the stun on Naja. That was a guaranteed kill if he hits the Naja there. Oh, he's missing a lot. He's missing a lot. That was just one string of abilities, though, so I'm not going to be mad. He hasn't missed a lot so far. Still hasn't come to another lane yet, though. He, he had to fight there. That was his teammate who overaggressed, but... If he backs after this wave and comes out of base and goes right back to fighting the mid laner, I'm going to lose my mind. Because if you watch any of the good mid laners play right now, like the pro players, Ven, uh, really any of the pro players, they are rotating as much as junglers do. Panic is setting in. I'll know he's panicking when he starts 2 one to secure abilities again. He hasn't backed yet. I think they were worried about them going for gold. So I kind of understand him hovering, but if his support is behind him, he really should have just backed. He's been running around at 600, 700 HP for a minute and a half right now, I feel like. Yeah, a minute and a half. He's literally been at this HP. Cyclone's gonna punish him for being low or try to punish him. Was that another miss stun combo? What the f- What? Hold on. Am I trolling or is something going on here? I want to see that. Oh yeah, he's missing his bomb stun combos. He didn't put it out at max range. His bombs, his bomb, the one portion of his bomb stun combo, he's throwing short. He did it on the Naja too when I was like, oh, he missed another bomb stun. It wasn't out of range. It, the, the, it definitely wasn't out of range. He just missed. He throws them short. I do, I'm not even going to be mad though. That, that's just, you know, uh, he's throwing abilities correctly. He's throwing the combos out. He's just missing the stun. Combo. What is up, Stinky Five Head Gamer? I just had to know because it, it seemed like he was doing it right. Like it should have been landing. That's why I was confused, but he's just throwing the one short. This could be big. His positioning here is very good. His positioning here is great. That was good. He didn't three bomb off of that stun combo, which is sad. He needed to drop all three bombs there. He's, he missed the bomb and hit the stun. He missed a lot right there. A lot more than I thought he would. His positioning was solid at the start. Oh my gosh. He's standing on a ward. <clears throat> he's, they, like, he's, you gotta know he's standing on a ward. Was I a PUBG pro? I was, yeah. Not for a long time. Only for a little bit. I found it very boring. So I stopped and I went back to Smite. <laughs> Uh, Daedra, all the videos are uploaded into the shared drive. They just aren't on the Google Doc. So if you want, you can pull one and edit it, and then I'll just do the rest of the stuff after. 
they're titled like uh like the file names are titled the base information like elo hell type shit i knew you were looking to edit one so i threw them up nah, I, I was ranked one PUBG in duos for a very long time and then uh so i was like oh i'll play competitive because smite was boring and then competitive PUBG was a thousand times more boring than smite so i went back to playing competitive smite it was also in my downtime like smite was in off season I wish he would have tried to bait the beads longer. So and that, if he's on high ping, I can't really, it's hard to do it if he's on higher ping. Naja's gonna free ult him, yeah. Naja just baited him, he's dead. Okay, they just got worked really, really hard. This is happening because they just fought in mid the whole early game. So their whole advantage was er worthless. One rotation, the first time a rotation happens towards that gold theory, they don't win that fight and everything falls apart. Wait, red? Yeah, they got that. Red team, red. I think they catch him. If he. Uh, uh, I think they're going to catch him. The game's average skill level in players is increasing. Most people that play Smite have played for years, so yes. I, I, oh, this is a good call. I'm glad he rotated to that. He better be careful though. Um, so the Ladam team that the Leviathans that won Worlds, what, two times or whatever, they were, they couldn't win a weekend tournament against, you know, Diamond and, and Plat players for 10, not 10 years, like six years. It took them six years to get good enough to play pro. He's getting absolutely bullied now. His positioning is hor horrible. Absolutely horrible. Has he warded again? He warded twice early and then... Yeah, he's been warding. Okay, good. So it's not wards. It's just his positioning is really bad. Yeah, he's missing a lot of abilities. He's missed a lot ever since the just throwing abilities at the enemy mid laner stopped. Pretty much every team fight ability has not done much. What's his build? He's got Rod. He's on farm. Like, he's not far behind the enemy mid laner. He's just being bullied because of positioning and missing a, a lot of bomb combos. But I'm glad he's going for the bomb combos. So I'm not mad about that. I'm just mad that he's missing. I want to watch this, but that because Agni's in mid, not doing anything. And then I'll swap. Cycle instead. Oh. Dang. <sighs> is he I think that ADC just threw and he's dead for sure but the fact that he just did 70% of his health before he even reacted is crazy to me or ulted him too yeah okay. I've played smite since the game came out so we're in year 10 of the SPL and Smite was out for two years before the SPL came out. So we're we're going we're we're halfway through our 12th year. I didn't grind super hard though for that first like I the first year was like I played and then oh it's bad that he's not beading that. I th he might have been in a shop, obviously. We can't see if he lazy back, but he's got to be beadsing them. You have to be able to beads a Naja ult, a, like a free Naja ult. Unless you're really high ping. That one's the same level as Agni. Yeah, he's not. He he never left mid, so he never farmed. He never. He hasn't done anything in this game. Again. This is different though because his team isn't stomping. This is what he did last time, except for his mechanics are better and his combos are better. They just aren't landing. So his mechanics are are the correct me mechanics, but maybe not actually better. I don't swap back to him. Shoot, controlling. He definitely. I don't know if he listened to me or somebody told him his combos were bad, but he did not listen to me on anything else I talked about.
mid laners need to be rotating the whole game he's going into farm mode here so like him not rotating i'm not giving him shit now but he should have been rotating earlier instead of just trying to kill the enemy mid laner on cooldown what's player damage looking like yeah look at this this is this is not good he's almost half damage of the enemy baba yaga did he miss the stun again The bot, where was the stun? He did throw it out, it goes on cooldown. He 100% throws it out. Like, that's why I said, Where the fuck was it? I just can't see it. He throws it, it's on this bomb he throws out right here, but where does the stun go? Did he throw it out super late? I hear it go down, but I don't hear it explode. A different point of view. He missed it. Right? I'm so confused. It looked like you missed it right there. I'm pretty sure you just completely missed it. And I don't know how that the fu how the fuck that happened. Cause it doesn't blow up. Like it, the, on the first bomb, he doesn't combo. Wait, he died? Sorry, I'm like all over the place right now, but I had to do this. Let's watch this again. Oh yeah, he did. He stunned Herc. He stunned Herc. That was the worst target. You're right. He did stun the Herc. <laughs> Yo, he turned around and just stunned. <laughs> he hit over the face. Oh my gosh, that was so bad though. So he stunned their tank, did zero damage because he doesn't have pen yet because he hasn't been farming. And uh, they just die. Is he gonna go back in? That'd have been crazy. We're gonna fast forward a little while. He's respawning. All right, he's level 15. The enemy mid laner is level 18. They're up in kills, down in farm. He has. N eh, okay, he's double. All right. His build would be is fine, but it's the problem is he's behind on farm. What's his net worth? He okay. So this, you like, I feel like I'm I'm like I'm being judged. Like I can't be too mean to him, but like you're the bottom farm in the entire game because you never left mid lane the whole match. You have the last least farm in the whole game. No, no. What was player damage? Lowest damage in the whole game, too, basically. I, th I think this just proves I was right before. I'm going to be honest with you. I think this proves that he's definitely not a terrible player. 
but this is not elo hell for him he's not stuck in diamond he needs to keep improving to get to masters you can't drop him in a master this is his main god too if he played anything else it would it, it could potentially be a lot worse than this and agni does get picked and banned a lot so there's gonna be games where you won't get to play as a masters i mean he's already diamond he's diamond 3 21 80 mmr i don't think he's masters i think he just needs to, he has a t so much to improve on farming rotating and creating gank potential mechanically hitting abilities That's a good, that's a good play off the Thor. Catching him is big. I do like that he toed there and went for more setup so it would land instantly so the Nodra couldn't just ult away. My thing is, mechanically, you should be playing clean by the time you're plat on the God you play all the time. Mechanics should be the last thing you're worried about. At this level of play, it should be decision making. He just pulled those creeps in. That was uh that was a good never mind. I was saying that might have been a good reaction. He just messed up, but he they knew he was there. He walked the creeps into them. So like that's a really bad play that a masters player is gonna do. You're gonna full clear that and you're gonna reset the, the map vision before you walk at three people. It wasn't even a good place to position. He has no out there if they W key. He should have walked behind the other wall if he actually wanted to try to peel and do damage. He's getting bullied really badly right now. I'm sure. I'm sure this is. Yeah, there's going to be some excuse for this one. Again, but. Because uh, I was being told I was basically I, I was too hard on him. He's actually good enough He thinks he didn't make a lot of mistakes the last game. So if after this game, he says the same thing uh, I got nothing for you, dude He did some more damage though. He's not bottom damage Let's follow him again. Oh, yeah, he's so far behind He's very clearly the weakest player in this lobby and not fitting in to where he should be game's not over yet Maybe he turns it around they get up some good team fights but ba 25 minutes in, nah. Nope. I am not happy, and I do not think this is a master's level. He, well, Agni's his main god. I'm pretty sure if he played something else, it would be significantly worse. I could be wrong. Maybe he's got some other god he plays a lot of, but I'm pretty sure this is, like, his go-to. They're gonna try to burn his beads here because he's playing up to, to clear which i don't blame him that his reaction in playing that's probably the best thing he could do has he warded again since he fell behind yeah he warded two more times since he fell behind i mean he has the most wards on his team oh no 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 <laughs> okay i lied his team is warding a lot more i'm trolling i thought that was red that had a bunch of wards so red's barely even warding this game even more of a reason if he was rotating earlier he could have created so much Oh, he dashed for farm. So his team's fighting in mid. His Thor went up in the air and he dashed right to go farm. Instead of back of his team. So his Sobek just got baited hard right there. His Sobek just got absolutely baited by Thor. And uh and him not coming over. Is he gonna peel? If he peels here, it's bad. He, yeah, he's in a bad spot now. He's dead. He's so dead. Yeah, you can't peel at that point. You can help somebody who got caught. You got a dip. Because their main CC, Nox, didn't have to use anything. The Nox was just there ready to free cast. That's terrible. first person to do two of these uh you did the other one you felt like i might have undercut your performance a little bit so we did another one um in this game would you say 
you were playing up to like masters level the uh, the opponents no okay. no i would not okay i'm gonna point i'm gonna point out something good because i noticed it right away your combos 100 percent better like you're using them properly you were missing a bunch of stun combos in the late later end which is probably because you're shifting over to a, get it like using combos like that but that was way better if you were landing them it would have been like very 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 good but you definitely are using your combos and shit a thousand percent better um what would you say was was the issue for you that game like when it went wrong positioning. Or... Positioning? I'd, I'd say a lot of it was my positioning uh, of course hitting my combos would help a lot yeah, of the yeah. damage yeah. but i was positioning wrong um i did not have enough respect for cyclones nox and polly's niza okay so i'm glad you pointed no. that out so do you I think there's a problem that you just kept running back to mid and trying to bomb combo the enemy mid laner instead of clearing and just leaving lane and going somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, I should have been looking for the Herc since especially he didn't have Phantom Shell with the Odin. If we would have gotten their first on rotations, he should have been easier kills. Okay, so um, when you're playing, um, so you, I'm just I'm, I'm asking this because you said we do. You, when you say we, are you thinking you need to rotate with the jungler? Or like, no, is there a reason um, you sat in mid I, most when, of the time? Well, I sat in mid. Uh, when I start losing farm, I tend to hyper focus on farm. Okay, but you're so not gonna you're not gonna regain farm by going back to your lane over and over again. Is kind of what I'm more getting at. Oh yeah, no, I definitely shouldn't have done that. Okay, because what you really could have done when you guys were... Because early game was going your way. You were bullying kind of hard. A lot of the fights were going in your favor. You guys had a little bit of a lead. Your Thor was big. A lot of it went wrong because I'm not putting it only on you, but you kept running back to mid and fighting instead of just running to mid, throwing a bomb out and clearing or twoing and clearing and just going to a side lane by yourself. You don't need a jungler. You don't need the support. You don't need anybody. You just go, you're, you have CC, you have a lot of damage. You can do whatever you want as a mid lane mage right now. You didn't do it once. And I truly believe that's why your team lost their lead because you guys just kept running it down mid and eventually it gets to the point where the second you guys finally lose a fight, they get all of that gold back that you've gained for, you know, 10, 12 minutes where you guys had a lead. So if you are playing mid a lot in your end games, you a hundred percent need to just get to a point where you stop trying to kill the enemy laner and leave and that's kind of the same for every role that's not just like this doesn't just apply to you and mid that's pretty much every role you aren't trying to kill your enemy laner you're trying to rotate and win some grouping team fights right so you definitely could have done that early and you mentioned you started worrying about farm was that later or was that like do you know because obviously late game at like level 15 when you were really far behind you started prio farming but was it before that yep when or was that no, what you're talking it about? was it was around that when i realized i'm losing a lot by going and just fighting all the time like i'm not doing damage i need to get some farm up some items so i can actually contribute okay so if you can re try to shift to that mindset earlier like like before it's a big deficit just kind of notice like hey, i haven't really been farming and when i say farming i don't mean just your lane you need to go get some side creeps some mid camps some back camps start taking farm from people so you can actually be the carry stop worrying about your don't worry about your teammates you know obviously don't take the jungler's speed but like go do backs when he's not doing them go do the roaming creeps whatever get whatever farm you can please rotate more um and just keep working on your bomb combos because you I'm not 100% on this, but I think you were throwing your one short. Like you would throw your bomb out and it would hit, but the stun would be like three steps shorter than the bomb. Like like shorter than where the bomb was and shorter yeah. than where the god is every time. It was like- There, there were a few times when, uh, when I tried to go and I either did a little short or it was just out of range. Since if I remember correctly, the bomb has a slightly longer range than the stun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, yeah. Um, fuck. What was I gonna say? Oh, are you? What's your ping? Are you playing on like higher ping or? I couldn't tell you. I'm on console. Oh, you are. Okay, so you you actually play on a console, your controller and on I console. I actually play on a console. Okay, yes. so you are at a disadvantage on your hurt your your FPS. Um, we already know console reacts a little bit slower. We we are having this talk before because I remember last time it felt like you were playing in slow motion. Today did not feel like you were playing in slow motion. Today felt so like I, you were actually playing right. 
I increased my sensitivity by two Beautiful. around the board, mm -hmm. uh, as well as have swapped to instant cast for most things. Okay, so did you you watch back and take some of what I said into like like I can't like you you know you the criticism you started using oh, it. I, absolutely. Okay, so like, I was being a dick. I, I thought saying... you weren't. I thought you were like fuck weekend. He's wrong. So I. Oh I, God, no. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not even yeah, mad yeah, at so... you because like I was kind of even wondering like maybe I did judge you too hard last time. So I'm glad you. Actually... No. So what, when I was saying that, um, it was more looking back at some nitpicks. Like there were a few times on the last Yellow Hell when you were like go in and kill everyone. I was watching it back and I'm like. <laughs> I didn't have any abilities up. I was on cooldown at that point. You, when I'm saying that, I usually mean before, like, like if I'm like go in and kill everybody, I mean like you should have been going in and killing everybody. I think that ha someone else said the same thing that like they commented on a different video. They're like, weekend, his abilities are down. I'm like, bro, I'm talking in past tense. Like that other game, your team was stomping and obviously you're getting more comfortable. You're still grinding. You have improvements to make. If you were really like at that spot already you would have had like 25 kills last game like without even putting in a lot of like effort in my mind um i'm just really happy you changed up your bomb combos because your early game your bomb combos were super clean and you were stomping you were making plays yeah so it, it's it was a bit of a weird one with the last one um i was very worried about actually hitting my shit so i was very reliant on the two one confirmed bomb yeah you didn't and... want to miss anything which yeah is i understand but like the way you played today was better even with you like to me it was way better even with you missing everything obviously the teams everything was different like it wasn't the same your team was stomping last time whatever that's irrelevant you definitely were playing better it's okay to miss some combos miss some bombs whatever uh, i definitely liked your your mechanical play, even though you weren't landing, like not the actual mechanics, but way, the way you were comboing was way fucking better. I'm glad you up your sensitivity. Um, that game's a little bit rougher to judge because you fell really far behind. So most of your improvement is like sub level 15. You had a lot of things you could have done to not put yourself in that spot. Uh, when you, you mentioned positioning, when you do fall behind, start thinking positioning for yourself all the time. So somebody got naja blink ulted and you tried to help him fuck that bro's dead go far right like you gotta be su you have to swap into a super selfish mode or you'll be irrelevant in that game which is kind of what happened you, even if you did hit a bomb combo you weren't doing any damage you were yep. you were just yeah. done so at that point so you have to say fuck your that's teammates the, and go uh, far. That, that's the support in me yeah, you had, you had the... seven seven deaths that game and i'm i can think of three right now where two of them you died just going to go try and peel and it, you should never have um, yeah the and... sobek in the jungle where i didn't yeah. clear the wave and they turned uh -huh. on me and then yep. blast miss at the end before we yep. lost yes sir and then you also died to the herg boulder which you really shouldn't have died to you just turned around that it's max, so, max range that um that one was me being an absolute shitter I will be completely honest. Uh, I had tabbed to see how much damage I did to the Niza as I was backing off. I had my ages up, uh, but because I was looking at the damage screen, I didn't realize there was uh, a builder coming. Um, <laughs> oh, I saw you were saying so. And when you play in Subway, you played support. Are you? I do. Support do you, is my are name. you gonna go back? Yeah. Are you gonna go now that you're a diamond? Are you grinding support more now? Are you waiting to masters to start playing support? Yeah. So now that I'm like I'm reaching the the diamond and stuff up, sorry about that. I am gonna be looking to queue more support. Cause I'm interested um, to do it with you support. Cause when we watched you play support and stuff, like you were playing fucking god tier, and you were like at that point I think you were like 1800 MMR, right, or something with, with plat something yep. really low. So yeah, in the course of that plat. to now, you've gone up 400 <laughs> MMR. Um, you were playing mid to get through the early ranks, which is what I tell people not to play mid, fucking support. Mid jungle. Ass. Yeah, playing support is ass for trying so. to grind MMR before diamond. Um, so I'll be interested to watch you play support at what, whenever you like fully, you know, you're just playing support. I want to watch you play support. Yeah, I'm absolutely down to do a support match. That yep. is my main role. I've got a lot of comfort picks. Um, this year has been my first where I've been uh, doing some leagues. So like your sub league. I've done a few more amateur leagues throughout the year where uh, I've been really working on my support for those uh, those game modes. Yeah, I have a lot of confidence in watching you play support because, like, the way, like you said, you went to react to help somebody. That's like support. You're you're ingrained to play support. 
Um, do you have any questions or anything from the game? So, how would you... Um... Obviously, Cyclone was able to W key a lot. <laughs> Would you suggest that um, when he was trying to do that, to look at more trying to like burn and poke him out as a way to deal with it instead of just trying to run away? No, Especially I... since he had horrific. All right. So the first time he dashed you and then fucked you, that you weren't gonna not like because you didn't know the matchup like, you didn't know how much nox was gonna do and nox versus agni you weren't you clearly weren't ready to react to it perfectly which is fine but after that first time you should have learned like okay he can cover that much ground on me and then still catch me ignore the fuck out of him like like if you see him r get away from him don't do anything don't go up to clear the wave don't fucking do anything if he wants to sit there and you know try to dash kill you and horrific you on cooldown don't even let put it get in a spot where you can't right so First time he kills you, fine. Next time you see him coming up the lane, just fucking leave. Instantly dash away. Sit on your tower because, like, you're not losing anything. If you do clear the wave, clear the wave, run to the back of your tower, and then rotate to right or left and just keep distance from him. Stay the fuck away from him. Because he was bullying you in mid, but it was because you just kept going back to mid over and over and over again. It wasn't because, like, he was actually just fucking clapping your cheeks. It was you kept putting yourself in a position for him to be annoying. So whenever you get in a, in a situation like that, try to avoid that person and then get to a point where the, when you like, where you want to poke them, like you were mentioning, you need to have somebody else there. If you want to do that, your support has to be there. Somebody else has to be around for you to put yourself in that position. I think yeah. if you had just started rotating earlier, you would have had a way like a phenomenal game. You would have kept up the, the momentum and everything from the early game and Blasphemous probably would have had a better game or, your fucking Odin would have a better game because you would have gotten kills on those side lanes 100%. All right. Yeah, yes, I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. GG's, man. Appreciate it, too. GG's. Later. All right. Blue got soloed. Yeah, but you did 12k damage. Yo, Wraith. Wraith. I am doing one more. Is this you? 